Hey, it's Turbo Time. This is Rip with IMSI Design. And today we're going to take a look at bringing in a door or a window from SketchUp and using it uh, as an opening in TurboCAD. Uh, so this is going to be a pro only as we're going to use the opening tool for this. Okay, so the first step is getting uh, the file into TurboCAD. So what I did, I just went ahead and downloaded it from the SketchUp 3D warehouse and then copied it from my downloads folders folder into my symbols folder and in my my symbols folder I have a folder named SKP doors and windows so now when I go when I go back into TurboCAD I also have in my symbols a folder named SKP, SKP doors and windows and all the files are there so the files in question that I downloaded from the SketchUp 3D warehouse are these uh, two first ones, C-U-A-W-N-P window and C-U-I-F-D door. So I'm going to go ahead and do a window opening. So first I'm going to drag from the library palette and I'm going to get these messages about uh, replacing it because uh, TurboCAD already has these names. I'm just going to go ahead and choose skip all. And then I want to... So what I need to do for the opening tool Let's take a look. Let's take a step back here, and so I can ex explain what I'm doing here. For the opening tool here, I'll go ahead and right-click it. You need both a 2D and a 3D representation for the opening. So I'm going to cr create the 3D uh, representation from the SketchUp file, which I have inserted into TurboCAD via the library palette. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. I'm going to tab into Rot X and type in 90. And there we go. And now I'm going to create a block from this. I'm going to go to Format, Create Block, and I'll call it Awning Picture 3D. Okay, and so I'm going to need to create, let's go to the blocks palette. See, I've got awning picture 3D. See, there's a ton of these other blocks in here because the SketchUp file is built, uh, SketchUp files are built from, if you're familiar with SketchUp, there's something called components. So every component is brought into TurboCAD as a block so they can be edited. Uh, so each component can be edited separately. Uh, so I've got this awning picture 3D. I'm going to go ahead and drag it back into my drawing and use this as kind of a template for my window, for my top representation. I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle around it. Then I'll go ahead and delete this block insertion. So now I'm going to use this to draw my window, 2D window representation. Now what I, I have, what I want to represent my uh, 2D, to represent the window in plan view. So I'm going to name it Running Picture plan. Okay. Now let's go back to the opening tool. I'm going to right click openings for 2D representation. I choose awning picture plan. For 3D representation, I choose awning picture 3D. And then I'll go ahead and give it a height of three feet. And now if I select the opening tool, I can place it into my drawing and of course I can even ch I can change that elevation as it's too low. So let's put it at six feet. That's too high. Oh, I had it at three inches before, that's why it was so low. So three feet is actually a pretty good height here. And again, I am not an architect, so don't send me an angry email saying, that's just not how you build a house or anything like that. So I've got 
a 3D representation, and if I switch into plan view, I have a 2D representation. And that is how you use the opening tool, and that's how you can bring a anything that's used, any door or window from the SketchUp warehouse into TurboCAD.